Wake up! <laughs> What's up guys, welcome to another video. I know what you're thinking. David, what's up with the splint? I'll get back to that later, but for now, we're gonna go have some fun. First thing on the agenda, we are going to see if I can ride a bike with this. I am 99% sure I can, but we'll see. Ready for a bike ride? No, <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Safety first. So I was right, I can hold on to the bike handle and we're gonna go. Cue the cinematic. You see that circle right there? Down the road over here somewhere there's like these ones that are open so it's a hole. I see one coming up here and we're gonna take a look at the highway. Did you say? We adventured. Yeah, we did. And there was a huge one. Yeah. I don't know if you got that on camera. I'm gonna be dead. Alright, so I survived the bike ride with the splint. Now to do some other stuff and see if I can do it. Woo! Air conditioning. So this is rare. I barely get to rest in the pool. I'm usually training a lot in it. So the good part about this finger is it's not broken, but I'm going to explain to you real quick how it happened. So I was training in this pool, doing breaststroke, and on a turn on that wall, my fingers went in for the turn and most of them went the correct way. The other one crunched in a little bit as it curled and like hit the wall weird. So it jammed my finger really hard and I tried to swim afterwards, but it was too much pain. And sadly, I had to stop my set and I didn't get to do my push-up workout and stuff. But once this is healed in a few days, I will be doing a lot more push-ups and everything like that to be in shape because my team is going to be training together in a few weeks and I gotta be ready, gotta be in shape. The good part is I can do ab workouts. Me and my sisters, my sisters and I, okay. <laughs> my sisters and I did a good ab workout yesterday 
that's when I got the finger injury. So we were able to do that. But yeah, I can't do any push-ups or like planks in a push-up position. But I could probably do planks in like the position where you have the elbows on the ground and stuff. So looking forward to that. What do you think? Cold. It's cold? <laughs> no. All right, jump in. One, two. Okay, Don't jump in step. upper body. Ready? One, two, three. Hardcore, hardcore. <laughs> Don't you dare. Don't you dare. <laughs> I will wet you. Oh, come on. I got wet already. Say something. Uh, something. <laughs> <laughs> Wake up! <laughs> Q&A time with Gabby. Go. All right, first question. Where were you born? <laughs> New Jersey. <laughs> Same place as me. I don't, that's a stupid question. Let's go into some more interesting questions. For those of you who don't know, which is all of you, because I never released it, me and Gabby tried doing Q&A on a bike. Yeah. <laughs> that didn't work out because my camera cut out on it. So we're gonna try that again next time, but right now we're gonna do some questions. Okay, Gabby, so you're going to college soon. Mm -hmm. What is your number one goal college? Harvard. Harvard. Yeah. <laughs> Typical answer. All seniors say that. They say, oh, I want to go to Harvard. And then they end up going to like, F-A-U, F-A-U, F-A-U. <laughs> this one drags me sort of to F-A-U. I got a story on that. So in sixth grade, I had the opportunity to apply for some scholarship program. So I got called in, my guidance counselor handed me a huge packet like this big. She said, fill this out and you have the chance for a scholarship. I filled it out, turned it in, and I did receive news on being accepted into the scholarship program. So as I went throughout my whole high school, I followed all the protocols and stuff like that to receive the scholarship. But the day I received the acceptance, this little one, <laughs> She was very tiny at the time, and she wrote me a letter and was like begging me, don't go to college, don't leave me, and stuff like that. It was so funny. She left like a drawing and stuff with it too. And if I ever find the letter, I'll show it to you guys on here. But like, it was pretty funny. After that, I was telling her stuff like, I wanted to apply for University of Miami and stuff, and she's like, no, that's too far. And then, so she found out FAU, Boca Raton is right here. And then she says, that's a little better, go to FAU. Years down the line, FAU did become the best option for me monetarily and for programs and stuff and everything like that. So I did end up going there and I'm still there at this moment. But yeah, she was kind of glad about that, right? Yeah. <laughs> Ready, set, go. Bumper boats. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Bumber bows. Gabby, stop crashing into me. <laughs> Throw it to the camera here. Well, to my hand with the camera. So it doesn't hit the splint. I am the mover. Hey, we're making a shot. Nice. Ah! No annoying noises. Does this count as annoying? <laughs> Does this count as annoying? Alright, back to Q&A with Gabby. We got two more questions. What year is your graduation year for high school? 2021. What's 9 plus 10? 21. What's your favorite part about being my sister? That's a hard one. Everything. Shouldn't be that hard. Oh, everything. Okay. I like that answer. <laughs> this concludes the first segment of Q&A with Gabby. Comment below if you want to see more. So, we were just talking about a segment to do for Cassandra, and it related to dancing. So, I told Cassandra it would be funny if I did the dances. Like, I'm not good at TikTok dances. Like, I'm pretty bad at it. And... She says, oh, we need to practice it first. I'm like, no, being bad at it will be the funny part of it. And then tell me now what you said before. Oddly enough, you're better than her at it. She's lying. <laughs> I don't know. It came out natural from her, so. All right, guys, that's the end of the video. 
like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Say hi to the cameraman. <laughs>